Hello, I'm Dr. Scott Dennis. I'm part of the technical service group of Global Forages for Corteva AgriSciences. My specific responsibilities are I'm a lactic acid or silage microbiologist and a rumen microbiologist. I've been studying the siling process for 36 years now. What we've learned is that when we ensile that crop, our goal is to preserve the most digestible nutrients so those can be fed to the cow and make milk rather than to feed the bad bacteria. So we've learned that there are two critical stages where these inoculants are effective. One is on the front end where you want to drop the pH initially as fast and as low as possible. By doing this, we minimize the dry matter losses, again, preserving the nutrients that you'd rather feed to your animals. The second step is during feed out, what we call the back end fermentation, where once that silage is exposed to air, now the yeast, molds, bacillus begin to grow, generating heat and consuming the energy, which represents dry matter loss. But we also learned that the lactic acid bacteria that are most effective at dropping the pH are not effective at inhibiting heating during feed out, and vice versa, those uh, lactic acid bacteria that are effective at reducing heating during feed out are not very good at dropping the pH. So the strategy that we've come up with is a combination inoculants. We have specific bugs to drop that pH rapidly and then specific bugs that are inhibit the yeast that cause the heating during feed out. Again, overall purpose is to reduce the nutrient losses that incur during the silage, siling process. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.